Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session in dentistry and more. Today's topic is a developmental anomaly known as dentin dysplasia. So, last sessions uh, we had covered amylogenesis imperfecta and dentinogenesis imperfecta where the formation of enamel and dentin uh, is not proper. Uh, likewise, this disease that is dentin dysplasia it is an abnormal development of odontoblast or dentin formation in an improper or abnormal way. Dysplasia means uh, we know it is abnormal development of cells within tissues or organs. So let's get into details of dentin dysplasia. So dentin dysplasia, it is an autosomal dominant condition without a proper etiology. But there is reports uh, saying uh, it is a, a mutation of DSPP that is dentin cyalophosphoprotein could be one of the reason for dentin dysplasia. And it is a very rare disease which is seen in 1 in 1 lakh incidents. Basically it is classified as dentin dysplasia type 1 and type 2. So usually this is presented as a normal enamel with the atypical dentin and abnormal pulp pathology. So basically it has two types. One is type 1 or shield type 1 or type 2 or shield type 2. That is dentin dysplasia type 1 and dentin dysplasia type 2. Dentin dysplasia type 1 is radicular dentin dysplasia. So we know there are coronal dentin and radicular dentin so this affects the radicular dentin so most commonly it affects both the dentition deciduous and permanent the crown appears very normal but the problem is there is no or only rudimentary root development that is why it's known as radicular dentin dysplasia so the name itself gives a clue radicular dentin that is a root dentin the root formation is very minimal or maybe there is no root present at all and it is also known as rootless teeth and regarding the pulp there will be incomplete pulp or there may be total obliteration and teeth may exhibit extreme mobility because there is no root or very rudiment root and exfoliate prematurely so it will exfoliate before the time of actual exfoliation and there will be malalignment and malpositioning due to the extreme mobility of teeth so when there is no root you can imagine what all the problems it may have there will be mobility it exfoliate prematurely there will be malalignment and malpositioning so in radiography, there will be short roots and sharp conical apical construction and crescent or half moon shaped pulp chamber will be present in dentin dysplasia type 1. Now let's move on to dentin dysplasia type 2 which is coronal dentin dysplasia where the problem is with crown or the coronal dentin. So the pulpal obliteration will be partial and the peculiar appearance of pulp chamber or coronal pulp chamber is thistle tube or flame shaped thistle tube or flame shaped pulp is seen in type 2 rootless teeth is type 1 and the thread like root canals are another feature and there will be absence of periapical radiolucency and teeth roots are of normal shape and contour so here the problem is with coronal dentin but here it is radicular dentin so the root is rudimentary here the roots are normal and radiologically the multiple pulp stones will be there and thistle tube or flame shaped appearance can be seen so thistle tube or flame shape is in type 2 rootless in type 1 crescent or half moon shaped pulp chamber in type 1 so there will be blue and amber discoloration seen in dentin dysplasia type 2 but only with deciduous dentition permanent dentition it looks normal 
a deciduous rendition there will be blue and amber discoloration while moving on to histopathology there will be deeper dentin show a typical tubular pattern that is a dentin which is at the deeper part a typical tubular pattern with an amorphous a tubular area and irregular organization and this is very important the lava flowing around boulders so when there is normal dentin tubule formation happens but there are blockades so blockage is there so this dentin tubule formation still happens but it is happening around this blockade so it looks like a lava so when a volcano erupts the lava is uh, flowing or overflowing around the boulders around the obstacles so it gets that peculiar characteristic appearance the lava flowing around boulders so when we take a cross section we can see this peculiar appearance of dentin formation around the obstacles the lava flowing around the boulders so that is a histopathology feature of dentin dysplasia so that's all about dentin dysplasia the takeaway points are rootless teeth that is type 1 thistle tube or flame shaped seen in type 2 lava flowing around the boulders it is a histopathology feature and crescent or half moon shaped pulp chamber in type 1 in management of dentin dysplasia proper oral hygiene measures periapical curettage and retrograde endodontic treatment so that's all about dentin dysplasia so it's a developmental anomaly affecting dentin which has two types coronal and radicular dentin types so i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you